Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Vintage Story Survival. So I'm homesteading here in this wonderful Let's Play, in this wonderful game, I mean. And uh, it's actually, it's been a great Let's Play, too. It's a fantastic uh, survival game. It's really survival-centric. And uh, I've just, I've been absolutely having a blast with it. But in today's episode here, we're finally going to be going and uh, building ourselves some greenhouse here. Now, as you can see, the sun is going down. Our uh, glass is all finished. As you can see, there's uh, 12 times glass, 8 times glass, 12 times glass in those, which is really good. And uh, I've went and done some landscaping here between episodes. So what I'm doing is filling in this area all right here uh, and just uh, using all the extra dirt and stuff we have. So I've dug out over there. Um, this here, you see this little area right here, uh, over to there took one copper shovel. So I think I'm going to make an iron shovel next time I dig out. Uh, just to see if it's even that much better and lasts longer. So, yeah, a lot of work still to do. I want to get this area nice and flat. Uh, but what we got to do is first start laying out for the greenhouse here. Now, it's coming uh, nighttime. So what I'll probably do there is uh, sleep through the night and we'll get up in the morning and start constructing. But look at this. We got our bloomery, ba or our bloomery done. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Crack these open here and grab our glass. This is our first time I've held glass in this Let's Play or in this game, period. There we go. Look at that. The glass in my hands. Nice. This means we can start filling in uh, some of these windows, too. Not this one here, because uh, we're going to get rid of that eventually. Uh, but I do believe we'll uh, we'll start with this window right here in, the, in our tower. There we go. Nicely done. Get this all filled up. Oh, I like the way the glass looks. That's nice. You know you've made it when you have glass. All right, so the clear, the clear glass, of, co of course, is a little more rare and it's harder to get. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use that for like my house here. And then uh, the smoky glass, we'll actually use that for the, uh, the greenhouse since... Uh, we don't need it to be clear, but yeah, it's almost nighttime. I'm going to go ahead, grab myself a, a bowl of food here. Uh, we're still doing okay on food. We have a couple pots kicking around here. This one is 1.8 days, so uh, I'm going to eat that. We're going to sleep and get right to work. Okay, and we actually woke up at uh, 5 a.m. here. Take a look at our character information. Uh, so the sun, uh, sun should actually be uh, coming up shortly. Ooh. It's getting later in the season now. I imagine too the uh, the sunrise uh, coincides with that. So uh, the later in the season, the less uh, sunny hours you get. I assume now. Um, I don't know if that's actually correct, but uh, the way this game goes, I would assume that would be uh, the right thing. Oh, that freaked me out over there. The little fire things. I don't know if you guys could see that on your screen, but I thought they were eyes. Oh, look, we got a, we got ourselves a little friend coming at us over here. Uh, is that just a, yeah, that's just a surface drifter. He ain't a thing. All right, let's open this door and, uh, take them out. Wait for Morton. Holy crap, there's lots of them out there. So they're, uh, they're definitely spawning at nighttime on this flat area of land. So we should look into getting stuff lit up soon. Uh, between episodes, what I'll probably do is actually start making up some more, uh, some more plates. I think we do have one resource in here we really don't need anyway. Ah, yes, zinc. We can actually make, uh, some zinc plates and make a whole bunch of lanterns. And, uh, light our area up all nice. I think that will, uh, look fantastic as well. Speaking of lantern, I actually had to go and uh, <laughs> find mine. I couldn't find it. Uh, now, I'm looking for another temporal gear, but apparently uh, to fix that thing, you actually don't need two temporal gears. Uh, one of the blue ones and one of the gray ones, which I'm assuming uh, is something you can make here. So let's take a look here. We got a large wooden gear, temporal gear, and uh, a, maybe a rusty gear. Is it the rusty gear we might need? Um, I have no idea how to uh, repair that thing, but we'll get to that next episode. Uh, what I want to do right now is um, get these green hoses done. I can hear my dog out there scratching. He got a new tennis ball, and he's uh, going absolutely crazy over the thing. And uh, I think he got it stuck under the couch already, because I hear him scratching that at the floor. Uh, that's what he does constantly. Just gets his ball. Three minutes later, it's under the couch. I have to get it for him, and then... Comes back, then I have to get it for him. It's, it's a little bit of a game, I think, at this point. Alright, so I think our best thing to make this out of is actually going to be um, uh, cobblestone. We have lots and lots of cobblestone, I think, still kicking around. Whoa, <laughs> what are you doing up there? Holy crap, dude. 
Yeah, don't be running from me. He's taking off. He's 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 seen my weapon. He's like, nope, I don't want a part of that. Um, we don't really have too much else to build with. Uh, even building blocks in this game can be uh, a little complicated. Like I I love this uh, plaster look. Uh, but plaster is a lot of work. You have to get lime and whatnot to do it. So uh, we have to make windmills. Oh my goodness, there's so much we have to make. Let's take a look here at our ground stuff. Uh, we do have a couple stacks of granite cobblestone in there. That's actually uh, really handy. And in dirt, of course, we have some in there too. Oh, we have tons of cobblestone. So yeah, that's what we're going to be building these out of. Uh, the max size we can make these is 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. 50% of the roof has to be glass, so uh, the rules actually aren't that bad. Oh, you know what we could use? I've been saving, actually, uh, our terra, terra Preta. Uh, so we can actually put these into the greenhouses. I think that would be our best option because they're at 80%, so it'd be easier to uh, cycle them around inside the greenhouse. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, select a location. I want to make sure... We'll start from over here because this area is nice and flat. I still have a lot of filling to do over there. And uh, lay out a 7x7 design. There we go. So I threw the uh, Terra Prater down. Uh, whoa, look at that go. Holy crap. The grass is growing right in front of our eyes. Look at that. Medium grass. Just like that off this stuff. That's insane. Uh, so what we got to do is actually get a water block in the middle here. And to do that, uh, I'm going to need myself a, a bucket here. Uh, so we can also make it uh, seven high as well. So it's going to be seven from this block considering uh, I filled up the bottom with uh, Terra Preta. Okay, looking at the blocks here, we totally don't need to go seven high. I think seven high would be a little overkill. Um, the size is off a little bit. So we're going to go about five high, of course, leaving the room in the middle here uh, for a door. So I'm going to have to make up a door too. But um, the, uh, the thing about this is I think I can build these modular and actually have doors to each uh, each unit itself. Now, this is going to be pretty boring on the outside, but hey, it's a food factory. Um, it's almost winter. I, I really want to get this going. So uh, we're going to take our most important stuff, which is, I, I think, our flax, and uh, we're going to put it in here once it matures. Okay, so uh, for the roof space here, I'm going to do a little bit of a funky design. Doesn't matter, we can change this at a later time. Uh, but we need at least 50% of the roof, so I went down the middle here, and that takes up uh, one-fifth, and uh, just a couple across the side here now. Uh, one, two... I think that should be good enough to qualify as 50% uh, of the, uh, the roof. So I'm going to get myself a door together here. Let's go ahead and uh, check out some of that smoky glass, see what that, what that looks like. Should have some of that made over here in these uh, bad boys here. We got 12 times glass. I wonder if it... Okay, so it doesn't show you what type of glass is in it. It just says glass. All right, well, let's uh, break these open and hope we can find the ones we need here. Oh, there's clear quartz in this one, so that's definitely going to be some clear glass. And in this one, we're going to have... Oh, fingers crossed. Uh, it is more clear grass. Grass. <laughs> glass. Wow. Hmm. All I'm getting out of this is actually glass. I thought there was two different types of glass, because I've been, uh, like... I was misinformed, guys. I did not know that. I thought there was only, uh... Because we had the clear quartz, and then you had the, uh, the smoky quartz, right? So maybe the smoky quartz makes less, and you need more of it? Oh, I don't even know. Hey, check it out! We got blueberries, finally! <laughs> cool! Only three of them! But we have blueberries. We went on a journey for those. There we go. Gotta grab the uh, cranberries. This game here is one you can get uh, very easily distracted in because there's so much to do. Uh, you almost have to make yourself a daily list, I think, in this game. Just kind of like you would in real life to manage it. Okay, so these are uh, still going here. This is our leather stuff going on, so those are going to take a little while. Uh, but like I said, with all food now, what I'm going to do is uh, bring it right down to our root cellar and uh, get it put away right away so it doesn't uh, go bad on us here. Yeah, like, look, we have uh, 4.2 days on that, 6.9. Uh, these really don't last long. I think there's a better way of preserving the berries, too. Uh, but I haven't really looked into that yet. As long as they're in here, and they're, they're okay. Oh no, guys, I'm looking at this bottom 
uh, this bottom rack here and did I looks like I put uh, some food in here that that's spoiled look at that uh, poultry red meat stew with boiled cranberries 61% spoiled damn it okay which ones is it I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, and grab these here we're gonna have to eat them right away uh, is this one of them uh, sealed for 47.6 days. Okay, maybe that's not one of them. Uh, let's grab this one here. Uh, sealed fresh for 44 days. Hmm. Where are they? Ah, uh, here we go. Sealed, but spoiled. Hmm. Well, I was definitely doing, uh, doing that one wrong. Wow. There we go. So uh, sealed, fresh, sealed, spoiled. So this must be the uh, the three servings. So let's go ahead and uh, and uh, put that down. Where can we put that down? Can we put it on these? No, we can't. Can't put the damn thing on slabs. <laughs> no place to put it. Oh, there we go. On one of our shelves that works. And uh, we'll get these ones here put away. Wow, that was a that was a bad deal right there. There we go. So those will be fresh for years, and uh, since this is spoiled, we'll bring it up right away and uh, get it eaten. All right, and it's just starting to rain here, and holy crap, like, look at this. All this ground is uh, already starting to grow grass. <laughs> it's very, very fertile. There we go, and uh, fingers crossed that should be enough. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, not really going to do the math right now, but uh, whatever. I just want to get it tested out. Uh, I forgot to grab the bucket here, guys. I have to go run over to the second level over there where we have all of our leather stuff and uh, grab myself one of the buckets we have kicking around. All right, there we go. So I used up my original flint hoe uh, getting this ground nice and done here. Now, if we take a look, uh, the crops are getting their moisture. We have our moisture levels. Um, our glass is filled in, but I don't see anything indicating that it has a, a greenhouse bonus or anything. So I'm assuming it's because uh, this door is not on the place. Let's go ahead, put that door on and uh, and take a look here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any indication uh, that the greenhouse effect is working here. I'm going to count these blocks up here and make sure we have 50%. So there's uh, 16 glass blocks and uh, 9 granite blocks. So we should be having uh, the greenhouse effect in here. But yeah, maybe it, maybe it doesn't show on the actual farmland itself. The other thing I uh, didn't cons... Ooh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's right, glass uh, goes as a block. Wow, back to the Minecraft days where you hear the breaking glass and it's like, ugh, hate that sound. Uh, but maybe it's counting the outside blocks as uh, roof blocks as well, the ones uh, holding up beside this glass. So uh, let's go ahead and fill this in entirely with glass and uh, we should be A-OK, -okay, I think. Let's check this out. There we go, one and two. And now we take a look at the farmland, and yeah, it doesn't say anything about having a bonus. All right, I got a, a little bit of research to do here, and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm taking a look at the uh, the wiki here, wiki.vintagestory.at. Uh, also, the same place you can purchase a game as well. It's not on Steam. Uh, but it does show that you get a plus 5 degrees Celsius from greenhouse effect. But it does uh, say it might take a little bit of time before the buff appears on farmland blocks inside of the structures. So, yeah, we'll just have to uh, simply give it uh, a little bit of time here. Maybe a relog or something at, uh, at some point. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our main farmland over here and uh, see what we have. I, I do believe we may have some mature flax over here. Alright, taking a look, we got mature flax, we got uh, some mature turnips, so we're definitely going to have to do some harvesting here. Uh, we have growing cabbage, it's almost ready, and wow, look at all the rye we have too. So um, in the spring here, I'm thinking we're going to take a look at animal husbandry and uh, start raising ourselves some farms. Now the reason I didn't do that is because I thought uh, originally... Uh, that you had to constantly feed the animals, and if you didn't, the animals would die. But uh, I got to thinking, because those animals were in that pit forever, uh, and even in my, um, uh, wow, my cellar over here, 
And uh, they didn't die. So I looked it up, and yeah, you don't actually have to constantly feed them. You just feed them to get them to breed. So uh, that's not too bad. Maybe in the winter, I don't know if there's a lot of animals out in the winter, but uh, we do have to look in animal husbandry uh, sooner or later. We're we'll probably making in the same area too, like a little food factory over here. That's yeah, this thing here will end up turning into a food factory. We'll make a nice exterior for it. Uh, reading the wiki, it also said that you cannot chisel any of the blocks that form the structure of this so like these blocks here and the blocks on the ceiling all need to remain full square blocks so I assume we'll be able to actually uh, put another layer on the outside and chisel that layer I think that would look pretty damn cool too all right uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some farming here All right, so I got all but all this the, uh, the seeds and everything we're gonna get out of here so I uh, just figured out I only actually have four flax seeds on me. We don't uh, actually have a lot of flax itself. We just, uh, I keep on top of farming it so that we can have a, a lot of flax. And every once in a while, I actually do get a few flax seeds out of it. Now, uh, now that I have these greenhouses here too. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The plus five from greenhouse. Nice. This is so cool. Uh, so we'll have farm in the winter here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this planted here and uh, wow, look at the space. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the rye in here too, because these are grains. We can use these um, to feed animals. Uh, we can use these to uh, make some more porridge, especially uh, considering that we, we're not going to be able to grow the berries in the winter. So, oh wow, we still even have a lot of room in here for more plants. Okay, um, I guess I really underestimated how big these things, uh, these things are themselves, but... I do have some more cobblestone and stuff on me, so we're going to go ahead and uh, build a second expansion coming over this way. And uh, we'll, we'll test it out and see if we, we can't uh, connect them with doors. I, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Oh no guys, I realized what I did. I've actually made these greenhouses 5x5 uh, five five on the inside. What I did was I put 7x7. Seven uh, on the granite cobblestone. So yeah, these are actually slightly smaller than they need to be, but uh, Oh, well, it is what it is. Five by five it is. <laughs> I really don't feel like redoing all of that. Uh, I was putting these down. I was like, hey, wait a second. Something's off here. All right, let me get this fixed up. So we have ourselves a uh, ton of cranberries, a ton of rye, uh, I've got myself a whole bunch of fired crocs, and I do believe, yes, we have 24 lumps of fat, so we can actually start preserving uh, a lot of stuff here very, very quickly. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead, I think, and grab up this entire pile, because I intend on uh, pretty much using it all up here. Look at that, I still even left a pot sitting in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to make up a whole ton of uh, porridge. We have uh, almost two stacks of rye kicking around, and uh, 64 cranberries. I think it's about time to uh, go ahead and uh, make ourselves a deck here. So I got to uh, make a whole bunch of oak slabs. Oh yes, the saw is something we haven't used in a very long time. Oh, I can't wait to make an iron saw. Uh, which apparently, we're actually uh, we're going to have to do that uh, very, very soon here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make up some slabs and uh, we'll get right to this. There we go. So I have 64 plus one, which is the one I actually took out of here. Uh, so I'm gonna make, want to make these. Oh wow, those those finished cooking really fast. I only did four servings in each. Damn it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get myself organized here, and uh, <laughs> we'll get back to cooking. Holy crap! I'm gonna have to stay on top of these. Uh, so let's take this. Let's get that filled up. Oh nice. There we go. We'll whip right through these. All right, so we're going to get these oak uh, slabs. Uh, we're going to get them going into a uh, horizontal mode. So basically, to get these uh, to get into only one position, uh, you just put them back into your crafting here or uh, crafting. Uh, I don't even know what to call this here. Crafting box, I guess. And uh, if you see, they're uh, on auto right now. Uh, this will turn them into uh, only horizontal. So let's go ahead, place that down. And then if you put them back in one more time, uh, they'll go to only vertical. But we want only horizontal at this point here. 
Awesome. That way they won't get all wonky and stuff on you. Uh, it'll save you a ton of time. Well, it's going to be a nice having this deck out here. I can get rid of this little wall here and uh, finally build this, this place out. Make it look a little nicer. Uh, now, I do plan on uh, hopefully soon. I'm thinking winter will be the best time to do chiseling. Uh, summer, spring, fall is a good time to go out do gathering, exploring. And uh, I think winter will be a nice time to sit around home. Stay warm, eat the food that we uh, spent all season uh, stashing up, and uh, make ourselves some fancy things. I think it'll be uh, real exciting. We might have to go on some adventures, though, eventually to get some iron and whatnot. Okay, so I've got some work done here. I was able to produce, uh, what do we have, 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 uh, cooked uh, pots of uh, rye porridge and mashed cranberries. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? And uh, pretty much ran out of supplies here. Just have a couple cranberries and uh, a little bit of rye left, which is uh, quite perfect. So we got to get those all put down here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my inventory organized first so we can move everything all at once. Nice and easy. There we are. Pile those with those. We could even make some more with flax grain, but um, I think we're actually quite good for now. Uh, I'm going to get everything uh, emptied out, and we actually got to make all of those into uh, into seals. We're going to use up a lot of our animal fat over here. Oh, we do have this other one block that I completely forgot about, guys. And uh, it is the, uh, the cobble skull block. So I think I'm going to put one of those, actually, on, uh, on each corner just like that. Maybe uh, replace this block. So I plan on uh, putting a fence on here to kind of tighten that up. Uh, so the sides still need a little bit of work with uh, taking the dirt out. But our uh, base is almost uh, all, uh, all supported by cobblestone blocks all the way down. Damn it, I lost one. That's okay, though, because what I've done on here finally, especially when I'm swimming home from long distances, uh, is uh, I'll put a damn ladder up here. There we go. Another cobblestone block there because I need to leave the uh, the access right here. <laughs> nice. There we are. Okay. Uh, I guess it's time to make some fence too. There we go. 48 fence need and, uh, made. Now I probably don't need all of this, but damn, look at that. There we go. Oh, our deck is turning out nice. I've been wanting to do this actually uh, for quite a long time. Oh, look at that, and the sun's rising over it now. Uh, we are going to move these paintings here. Definitely going to move those out. I want to get rid of this uh, this one piece here. Uh, the roof and stuff, we'll fix that up after. Uh, like I said, we're going to be learning. Maybe uh, I might even make this build, honestly, a little bit taller. Yeah, probably a little bit taller. Maybe bring the roof down over top of our uh, little balcony here to keep us out of the rain. I think that'll look nice. Uh, but that's all future renovations here. It is uh, almost morning time. So I'm going to get this stuff put away. Uh, we got to grab our uh, animal fat here. There we go. Our inventory is actually looking pretty damn decent. I got to get all of these damn things here uh, sealed up and put away. All right, and got those all sealed up, I think. Just a, a quick double check here, so I'm not putting away food. That's uh, not going to last very long. Nice, nice. So uh, what I'm going to do then is leave two of these fired crocs out because uh, we can actually use them as food. We only got one serving left sitting out. So uh, definitely got to get that taken care of. But now we got to go and uh, take a quick look at our greenhouses over here. Um, I, I did uh, make this second edition. I don't believe... Oh, look at a rabbit trying to get in there. That's hilarious. Um, I don't believe I put the glass in it, though. So we'll have to uh, grab the glass. And uh, I also need some dirt, too. Do we have a shovel? Ooh. That's one thing I don't think we do have, guys, is a shovel. I may have to make one here. That's okay, though. Uh, we don't have to put dirt down. Uh, what I really wanted to see was um, if we could put doors on it into another unit and still have it remain with the uh, the bonus. Uh, so let's go ahead, grab some of these, make ourselves a door. I'm going to run over there uh, real fast and we'll, we'll put one in real quick. Like, Here we go. Look at these stupid rabbits. Uh, what I should do then, if they're going to be trying to get out our garden like this, uh, what I should do is like dig a little trap around this place because it looks like they're going to keep coming back too because uh, they know there's food over here. So... Yeah, that would definitely be a good idea. And these guys here, like I said, I want to try to take them out. Those temporal gears, um, quite valuable. 
Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna break a couple holes in the wall there. Another door in here. Uh, it's open, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure that uh, this is not going to be a, a, a problem. So it still says fi uh, plus 5 degrees Celsius from greenhouse. So yeah, it's going to be growing uh, quite fast up in here. That's pretty damn exciting. All right, guys. Well, I have unfortunately, once again, you guys know what I'm going to say, have ran out of time. But I'm having a ton of fun with these episodes. I know they slowed down a little bit right now because I'm doing the, the charity streams here with uh, 7 Days to Die. And uh, I don't like releasing a, or doing a stream and releasing a video on the same day. It just doesn't seem to work out in the algorithm. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It really does help. If you'd uh, like to support me further, you can do so by becoming a member. It's right beside the subscription button. Stay classy, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.